Well, welcome to another vlog. It's that time. It's Monday. I got my errands done, so we're starting a new vlog. And this one is going to be on a new prop. We're not going to be repairing something or refurbishing something or, you know, anything along like what we've kind of been doing. This is our second and last brand, totally brand new prop for the uh, for the haunt this year and should be interesting we are going to be using a two inch piece uh, two inch diameter uh, PVC pipe inch and a half PVC pipe three of my large skulls and I got some pipe fittings and that there is a uh, umbrella stand you know for the big beach and uh, umbrellas and stuff or for like on your uh, patio and I got one other piece I don't have out here and you'll see that later but I won't need it till later uh, but what we're going to be doing is this is a, a prop that's going to be replacing our uh, magic mirror we have uh, one of those mirrors that we bought at Spirit uh, when you walk you know when you first walk by it, it looks just like a mirror but when it triggers, there's a ghost inside. He prances up and down, has a couple of sayings, and then he shuts off. Uh, the mirror I've had for years. I think I got back 2012, 2013, something like that. And while it does still work, the uh, plastic gears on the inside that make the ghosts move and are no longer work. And I think one of his eyes is burned out. You know, it's time to retire the mirror. So, uh, this is going to be going into that spot. And what we're doing is a uh, candelabra. Uh, probably, I'm saying just off the top of my head, six foot tall candelabra. And we'll have the uh, skulls up on top of it. Uh, we're going to have the uh, skulls lit up from the inside so the eyes, the nose, and the mouth will glow. And we're going to attempt plumbing fog into it, which will feed in through the base and come out the skulls through the eyes, nose, and mouth. And then we are going to be incorporating a uh, spirit prop into this. I bought a uh, book last year. We were thinking about using it in the gypsy display. It was the all-seeing eye book. It's a book that has a big eye eyeball on the inside. I mean, you walk walk by it, the eye opens up, the eye moves a little bit, and it has a couple of sayings. So we're going to also incorporate that into this prop. So uh, I don't imagine this prop is going to take overly long. Oh, time for another segment. I made a little progress. Uh, we started out, I went and took the sleeve off the base here. I had some threads up here on top. Apparently, you were supposed to put your umbrella in there and then put this compression sleeve over the top of it and tighten it down to hold the umbrella into place. Didn't need the compression sleeve and I didn't need the threads. The uh, pipe is just about two inches in diameter or uh, just about big enough to fill up the inside of a two inch pipe. Uh, I then went and cut this at about foot length and it just slides over. Put a coupler on it and then a reducer. The reducer reduces the two inch hole down to an inch and a half. Which is what that pipe is over there and all the rest of my fittings. Uh, originally I was going to use two inch pipe you know, to do the whole thing. But Home Depot didn't have this part in two inch. They had it in an inch and a half. So uh, I ended up going down to about an inch and a half. Alright, once I got that done, got that glued up, it's been sitting a while, I got to thinking about the skulls. Uh, on the uh, top, the fork on it, uh, I ha bought some flanges here that will fit on top of the forks. Uh, originally, I was going to Velcro it, you know, just attach the flanges to the stand 
and put a piece of velcro on it put a piece of velcro on the skull and stick it on I got to thinking I'm not tr I don't trust the velcro these uh, big skulls I uh, bartered for uh, my friends over at Pow Wow Crafts Lloyd and Marlene gotta check them out on Facebook they've got some nice nice stuff yeah, I want to make sure they're secured to the lamp frame securely I don't want them falling off and breaking <laughs> so uh, we, we use that flange now I ended up getting a uh, Gorilla Glue epoxy you know it's a uh, epoxy uh, the epoxy says it works on metal works on ceramics and works on several other things I don't know if it would work on gluing metal to ceramics uh, so I went ahead and very very carefully drilled two holes in the base of each coal to ma uh, match the holes on the flange and we're going to both glue it and screw it <laughs> onto the thing. The screws will be put on real light. I don't want to tighten them down too much because it will shatter the ceramic. But uh, so you know I, I just got done doing those. Now next step is I need to get the mast. I need to figure out my height on that piece. I'll go in here and then run it up and then do the forks. And that's a little bit of a math and just trying to figure out, you know, what I want. <laughs> so, gonna be fun. Gotta figure out the height. Well, we've made progress. This part, this part is going really, really quick. So it's not too bad. I got the mast done. Now I put two T's in. I got the base and the first T here. My wiring for the skulls and the book will be coming in here as well as the hose which will shove up the uh, pipe for the fog and then the fog will sit back here so we got that in now this T here is going to have an arm that comes out that will support the book and hold the book and then I got a four-way up top there'll be a pipe sticking up here and then one out either side that the skulls attach to. Now as to the skulls, I mentioned I use Gorilla Glue and, and uh, screws. And I've got them in on either side. Now I've got a little coupler which will slide over the pipes to support, you know, to support them. So we've gotten that, we've gotten that far. Well, we got mock-up for the most part done. I went and got the spell book. Got it in. The wires we ran down inside the tubing. So you won't see the wires hanging out the bottom. Uh, I still need to get in here and glue up the joints on the fork. And for the PVC that holds the uh, book into place. A mock-up for the most part is done <laughs> which is good I think I might do a an adjustment here on the book that wants to slide side to side what I ended up doing is the book had just has one of those little brackets on you so you can stand it up at an angle and I want to put a PVC piece of PVC pipe in and uh, just cut a groove in it so I think what I might do is get my heat gun out after I get this glued into place and just uh, pinch it a little bit. You know, soften it up and pinch it a little bit, you know, so it tightens up a bit more. Might do that. Okay, I'm sitting here gluing and putting uh, all the final pieces together, getting them glued together. Now there's one thing I wanted to cover. Uh, this part here goes here. It holds the book. Uh, I decided I don't want fog coming out of the stand where the book is. I just want it coming out of where the three skulls are going to be. So I went and took some duct tape, two layers of duct tape, and just put it over the uh, pipe and then uh, trimmed it off. And then when I glue this into place, I'll help block the majority of the fog from coming out. Uh, on the center tube up there, I did almost the same thing, but instead of covering the whole tube, I only covered half of the tube. Uh, while I want fog to come out that skull on the center tube, I also want it to come out here. 
and with the nature of the fog it wants to naturally rise so most of it would go out the main tube. With that half flap in there it will block it and uh, have some uh, will help divert fog into the side skulls I hope. Uh, if there's too much fog coming out the side, uh, side skulls I can get in there with a screwdriver and just kind of puncture the uh, duct tape a little bit you know until I get the get the right effect for it. Okay design slight design change uh, with the uh, book. I was going to insert the book into the slot that I had cut but uh, the book wanted to wobble back and forth so I tried heat shrinking it you know heating up and just shrinking the pipe to kind of pinch it and that wasn't working too well so I decided what the hell I'll just zip tie it on there and it gives me a chance you know I can still tilt it or have it more straight up and down you know depending on how I want to do it and what I was doing I got to thinking I've got two wires I've got this wire here which is for the battery this bundle and then this other bundle over here uh, which is for the sensor let's see hold it yeah that one over there is sensor this one's power that I need to run down the tube and out and out the teeth ran into a problem I put that block on the pipe here so the fog won't come out that way that block there I can't run the wiring that way so we're going to do something I'm going to do something different one of my uh, projects I did a couple years back required this copper tubing and I bought too much of it it's been sitting in the shop or back in my storage locker just collecting dust I think what I'm going to do is I am going to run two of them one on each side down the thing and just have it empty out there and I can fish the wires through it and out and do one on each side and then uh, once I get into detailing and whatever those won't even be seen hopefully if my detail that I have in mind work but I gotta get those kind of ran so I can run the wiring and it's been it was 97 here today I'm beat the heat just kind of sapped me so uh, it's a little after six so Ann's gonna be calling dinner here in a little bit so I'm gonna call her quits go in the house and just space out the rest of the evening I think well, a little bit more progress made, and it's lunchtime, but I wanted to show you kind of what I did. I uh, started out with the skulls, and I went and sprayed gold on the inside of them, and I just got done doing the bottoms. That way you don't see the metal on them. So all three skulls have been doing that, and I figured with the gold on the inside, it will help the light reflect a little bit, because they were black on the inside. I wanted the light to reflect out of them a little bit. Other than that, we've been working on the tower, and I corpsed it <laughs> to hide the piping. Uh, basically, just black plastic, wrapped it, and ran my heat gun over it, and we did the whole thing. Uh, except for up here, these are the fittings that go on the bottom of the skull. I also had a couple of little spots oh, down here around these little tubes and stuff where the plastic melted through and the pipe was showing. So when I got my airbrush out to spray those, I went through and touched up anything that had white showing. So it was all black in color. Now I asked for these little tubes. There's one there and then one over here. This is for the book. Uh, one of the tubes will have a power wire that runs through it and the other one will have the sensor that runs through it. And I just drilled two holes the same size, just slightly bigger than the pipe. So I could pass them through the pipe and they actually come down at this bump out here and run down to here and they, they end right there where my finger is so when I put the wiring in the wiring will come out here which is right where the fog goes in too and now I can get them hooked up and I don't have wires hanging down and what have you it helps disguise the wires a little bit now after lunch I like the look of it but I want to do some detailing on it I've got from an old project a couple of boxes of this copper tubing. I think what we're going to end up doing is I'm going to get it out and we're going to flatten it. Totally flatten it and I'm going to do a spiral up the arm, uh, up the uh, main mass and out onto the arms. You know and make it look you know a little bit more decorative. You know have a you know a color contrast on there. 
we'll do that and then we'll be pretty much done with this. Well, we made some progress today on it. I showed you earlier I went and uh, corpsed it and I just got done doing the uh, copper effect on it all the way down. I did not do this nub here because the book totally hides it. Now I still got four decorative pieces to do and I'll cover that when I get to it. And I did kind of screw up. I had this thing all the way set up with the skulls and the book attached. Got some pictures of it for uh, Instagram. And I took it apart and moved it over to where it's sitting now. After I took it apart. So, uh, yeah, you guys didn't get a look at it. So, hopefully for those of you that follow Instagram, follow me on Instagram, you'll get a sneak peek. If not, you're going to have to wait till a little bit later in the vlog. Okay, uh, I'm at a design standstill. I even had the set dresser out here. Uh, originally, I was going to get uh, do some cobwebs out of metal. And a friend of mine at one of the markets knew somebody that had a plasma cutter. And I, was blue, I drew up uh, some cobweb blueprints. Gave it to him and he spent some time trying to get a hold of the guy. The guy said he was interested in doing it originally. Anyway, it never got done. Uh, when I originally asked about doing cobwebs on Facebook, when I was thinking, uh, designing this lamp post in my head, Triv27, uh, Todd, Wil Wilk uh, Todd Wilkerson, sorry Todd, I butchered your last name. And I know I'll hear from you on it, because <laughs> I know you watch the vlogs. But uh, Todd posted a uh, video of a guy making, making uh, cobwebs out of round bar. And me and round bar and welding don't get along at all. <laughs> we never have. But with the other way uh, not working. I said, okay, I went down, got some round bar. I figured I'd give it a try. I've been out here for about three hours. And I came up with that. I just got my arms on here for each of the cobwebs. My, my problem is, is, I need to connect it from here to here. But I have no way of bend, giving the round bar a slight bend. Because it should be, you know, you know kind of like that. So if I do it, it's just going to be straight, and it's not going to look like a cobweb, and the set dresser agrees with me. So I got these up here right now on, uh, you know, just held up into place with zip tie. And the wife was thinking, you know, I was thinking, well, maybe I'd just leave it like that and do a sunburst. Problem is, and I agree with the wife, it really doesn't look much like a sunburst. If I was going to do a sunburst, these two pieces would be joined together, those two pieces would be joined together, and then both pieces would be joined together, and we'd mount it right there in the center, and there would be your sunburst. And I'm sitting here looking at it, and looking at it. You know, I've already went through all the trouble of welding the sticks and stuff all together. It wouldn't take all that much, you know, to connect all those into one unit. And mounting it there. So I'm going to try doing that and seeing how it looks. I don't know if it's going to work or not. It might. This whole thing might end up being a wash. Okay, we went with sunburst pattern. Swan approved it. AKA the set dresser. Uh, just got done spraying it gold. And then we ordered a costume a while back for one of our displays, and it had this. And I figured once we get mounted, I can just set that right there in the middle of it. And I'll hide that gook of uh, weld. But there's our uh, sunburst, which will be hanging right here in the center with this on it. So we got that done. Now, build is finished except for wiring. Uh, I've got to install 
three puck lights, one in each skull, and then run the wiring inside the tubes down out out of that T in the back to hook it up. And then I gotta get the uh, fog tube, which will go in there as well and shoot fog up to the three skulls. Okay, I wanted to touch on the puck lights, or what I call puck lights. Uh, that's these here. They run off a of 12 volt. It's basically just three LEDs. Uh, I make these myself and I do have a few left for sale. If anyone's interested, uh, you can go over to my Haunted Treasures uh, Facebook page. I've got pictures and stuff there up on the page of all the different lighting that we carry and other items. And if you're interested in, in one, just shoot me a message from there. Uh, we decided we had, I have 11 different colors to choose from. And after talking to Sue, we decided to go with a red. Now, to install these, it's really easy on these skulls. The skulls have two holes in the bottom of it. One of them I've attached the mounting bracket to, so it'll fit on top of the uh, candelabra, and that's also where the fog will be coming through. And then this other hole is where I mount the uh, puck at, and I just put a bead of hot glue around the edge, and then put it up in the hole, and that holds it into place, and then the wire comes out the... Uh, fitting here. Uh, once I get this done, then I gotta start getting the wiring harness set up for that that these will plug into. Hey, pigtails made. Uh, I went through first off and took three wires, attached the uh, male fitting on it so they just plug right into the skulls. Then I ran all three pigtails down into one bundle and attached a fourth wire which will run out into power. Uh, I went and soldered the connection and I gave it a good thick coating of uh, electrical tape. So this part's done. Now it's time for assembly. I've got to get this pigtail inside the piping. The one going down and out to power is going to be uh, easy enough to do by getting the uh, three, these three connections for the skulls into the arms. That's going to be the fun part. Well, not bad. We got the wires in up there, and we got it ran down the tube and out the bottom. So power's wired. I just got to hook up the skulls and attach the skulls to the top, and that's good to go. That leaves us one more step, and that's this black, nice long black hose. And I'm going to perform on the candelabra what's called, us guys know real well, a colonoscopy. <laughs> Basically, I gotta take this pipe, shove it in and bend it and make sure it comes up part way up this tube. We're leaving enough hanging out the uh, back end to hook up to the fogger. But other than that, we're pretty much done with the project. Now, normally I give you a look at it set up. And then I do the, you know, stay spooky, stay toxic thing, and, you know, and that would be it for the project. Uh, I think we're going to do something different. I'm going to leave you right here. And I'm going to do a separate video, daytime, nighttime look, reveal of this project. And we'll have it all set up and working. So uh, stay tuned for the reveal video, which should be out either the same time I upload this or in a day or two. Who knows? I might make you wait. I might not. But uh, stay spooky. Stay toxic.